Hey, what's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here, doing another 4K action figure review on the Diamond Select Toys John Wick Movies John Wick Deluxe action figure with accessories. If you're trying to get your John Wick figures, you can do so at Pretty Big Bad Toy Store, proud sponsor of the Shardmas Prime YouTube channel. If you're trying to get your Diamond Select Toys figures, you can do so over at BBTS. Link in the description below. And big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for making this review possible and sending out this product to review for you guys. If you want to see the latest from DST, check the link in the description below. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. I really appreciate it when you guys are active viewers. It does help this YouTube channel quite a bit. And anyway, uh, I have, bleh, I'm sorry, I have been re-watching John Wick. I saw it a long time ago. I have not seen part two and three. But anyway, I like the packaging. The purple looks great. Let's see a nice product shot of John Wick right over there. And then you can see uh, John Wick, <laughs> Daisy, and then you can see John Wick holding a knife. And then there's a read-up over here on the back that says, the John Wick series follows the exploits of the legendary hitman as he unleashes mayhem and fury on the mobsters who have wronged him and the army of international assassins who want him dead. Exploding with highly choreographed kung fu and combat, the action-packed neo-noir thriller films tell the classic stories of vengeance and redemption. This deluxe action figure of John Wick is based on his appearance in 2014's John Wick and features 25 points of articulation as well as multiple accessories. Designed by Yuri Tming and sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. Did I pronounce that incorrectly? To me, me, it's probably just me, something like that. But anyway, nothing on the side, nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And I actually want to first look at the accessories, but here's a quick look at the figure. There are a ton of accessories that come with this piece. Um, first off, uh, well, we have Daisy. Oh my god. The big the dog eat that dog not around anymore. Oh, they tried to cast, I think, the cutest dog on earth for this role of Daisy, and I think they nailed it. It's just so sad. Uh, spoiler alert, Daisy doesn't make it, man. Sorry. But yeah, that really is what sets uh, John Wick off on his killing spree and everything. By the way, the movies are really fun. If you love the Matrix movies, I think you'll like John Wick. It kind of fills that void from the Matrix. I don't know. That's just one way of, see of seeing those movies. But very cute, adorable dog. I think they did a great job with the sculpt right here. The doughy eyes and everything. Oh, poor dog. Hey, how could you do it? such a cute dog. There's no articulation or anything like that. But man, just very well sculpted. Very realistic looking. And yeah, man, I'm, I'm really happy with it, you know? So, oh, they even got the little doggy paws right over there, too. So that's really cute. So I like that. And then we also get one of John Wick's gold coins, which is awesome. I like that. So we get the gold coins right over there. That's very cool, or at least one of these gold coins anyway. It's made out of plastic. It's not made out of die cast, so it is very light. Does not feel real at all. And then he does come with a knife right here. This is one of those retractable spring-loaded knives i can't remember the name off the top of my head but you can see that it does have it's just all black right there i wish that they had um you know some silver but i could be wrong this could just supposed to be all black and i wish he came with a pencil too wouldn't that be appropriate anyway uh we also have a shoulder holster uh gun right here you cannot take it out of the holster right here and there's nowhere for it to clip onto the figure so if you want to kind of like you know shove it in his armpit maybe think or it could go on the side or it looks like it's supposed to go on the side but it doesn't have anywhere for it to actually clip onto uh, my friend devious helped me out with the names of all the guns over here and uh so this is the beretta 92 fs uh, that's my info that's my uh info that i've gotten on this one and then this handgun this pistol right here is the uh h and k p30 l and coincidentally, uh, yeah, my friend that's helped me, you know, name all these guns is the same person who bought me the Blu-ray. Uh, so there's that right there. And then, well, and and, and his girlfriend too. The bo bo Both of them got it for us. We're all friends, you know. Don't want to forget anybody, okay? Happy belated birthday. Me too. Anyway, uh, and this one right here is the H&K 416 clone. This is... He's called it that. I like the, you know, the silver paint and all that stuff on there. That looks really cool. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know much about guns. It's not like I hate guns. I don't hate people with guns, obviously. Uh, but, you know, I just don't know much about them. And then this one right here is a sniper rifle. Uh, the DTA Stealth Recon Scout is what I've been informed of what this is. So that's really neat looking. Again, I love the silver paint detail. A lot of nice sculpt over there. So that's really cool. 
Got that piece right there. Uh, the handle to recoil. Oh, does it move? No. Okay, it doesn't move. Yeah, you don't want to snap that off. But yeah, great sculpted detail on these. And then, I, am I missing one more? I am missing the shotgun. Yeah, the shotgun was just here a second ago. Where are you, shotgun? Oh, yeah, there it is, right here. And then uh, you have the Kel-Tec KSG shotgun, which is pretty neat right there. So that's very cool. I like these. Very well sculpted. All of them look great, I think. And John Wick holds them all very well in his right hand. Uh, he does have, you can could, you could see he has a trigger hand on this side, but he does not have a trigger hand on the left side. And looking at the head sculpt over here, I gotta say, I really like it, man. Uh, I think they did a good job with this. I feel like it looks like Keanu from John Wick. Yeah, I really do dig it. God, that auto autofocus is not like working as good as I'd like it to, so I'm just doing it myself right there. Oh yeah, you can see those eyes of fury now if you don't think this looks like keanu you could see john wick in it right i think they did a really good job with this so i see keanu as john wick right over here and i really think that they you know translated the character great in action figure form i like the cuts on his face right there the beard looks really good except for just this part underneath the chin where you could see that you know some of the black paint is missing you get a flesh tone underneath there but i like how the eyes came out the expression looks great he's dead in the eyes he's out for vengeance they killed his Killed his dog, man. His wife is dead. Come on, man. He's going to go kill people. And he, he kind of has that look. So anyway, or he's killing bad guys. And looking at the uh, the rest of the figure, the bad guys are people too. Okay. Anyway, looking at the rest of the jacket, I think it looks great. Nice glossy black paint right here. And then nice glossy paint. You know, people that actually kill little puppies like that, you know, they're, they're not people. They're monsters. All right. Getting back to it. So... <laughs> Anyway, uh, he has wrinkles and everything, and yeah, nice seams and sculpt. You get the wick butt right there, and again, you can see the trigger finger. He has a ring right over there on that side, and the shirt looks really good. They got all the buttons and details on the dress shirt, so that's great. Silver paint right there, and glossy black for the belt as well. And yeah, I don't know exactly what this is right here on the side. You can see the little silver button, and then, yeah, nice wrinkles and seams and everything on the legs. I like that. Then you get the glossy, glossy black paint for the loafers. Looking really good. And he has peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Now getting into articulation, which I actually think came out really good on this piece. I do like the articulation. Um, let's see here. You can see that he does look up just a little bit. So he doesn't look up a ton, but he still looks up some. And he will look down that much. You have side to side motion, head pivoting, shoulders move outward that far, move down, rotate a full 360, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and then the left wrist turns side to side and hinges up and down. The right wrist turns side to side and has a horizontal wrist hinge right there. And then you also get a diaphragm joint in here that does turn side to side. It doesn't pivot, but it will crunch forward quite a bit. So I like that, and it does move back. You do have a waist swivel. The hips move outward very far. Uh, we're not really seeing too much of the gaping DCUC crotch pits on this on this Diamond Select figure. I'm really happy with that. that that's just a big improvement, I think. The hips move forward that much, back, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, side to side ankle rotation, ankles move down, they move up, and he has beautiful ankle pivots. So I'm really happy with the articulation on this figure. I feel like I was able to get him into a whole bunch of poses, so that's really cool. And you want this guy to get into a whole bunch of poses, man. Very, very cool stuff. What was that one movie did, like, where he jumped on a guy and then shot another guy? I don't know. I was, again, just re-watching it. Uh, and just like really cool action scenes in the movie. All right, anyway, uh, let's get some measurements on this guy right here. Wait, focus on that. Nope, okay. Thank you, camera. There we go. All right, so to measure out this figure, you can see that John Wick is standing right at about the seven and a half to eight inch mark right there. And for a comparison, uh, we have another suited Diamond Select Toys uh, killing action figure. <laughs> we have Jules from Pulp Fiction right there. So I wouldn't have expected Jules to be shorter than John Wick. I mean, in real life, I'm fairly certain Samuel L. Jackson is taller than Keanu Reeves. But I don't know. But I have a feeling that, yeah, I think he's like six something and Keanu Reeves is closer to like 5'10 or something. I don't know. And then we have the Marvel Select uh, Punisher Max figure, uh, Staction figure, anyway, from a few years back right there. 
And then lastly, oh, you can see him next to Daisy if you want to see those two side by side. And then uh, we lastly have the Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man. And by the way, I do have a new uh, Big Time Badass Spider-Man posters I'll be selling at the New York Forbidden Planet meet and greet. So I hope to see you guys over there. I uh, will be in New York City this week for New York Toy Fair. And this Saturday, February 22nd, February 22nd, I will be at Forbidden Planet in New York City, 832 Broadway, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. this Saturday, February 22nd. I posted it on the social media and just want to let you guys know one more time. But damn, that's sick. I think that's badass, right? Uh, I think that's hella cool. I don't know. I think they did a really good job with this figure. The articulation, I just think, is just really well done for this piece, especially with the level of detail that they got on this and everything. I dig it. I know there's a lot of John Wick, or there's some other John Wick figures out there. This is the only one I've really played around with, and I gotta say, uh, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna give this a sud rating, I'm gonna give it a sud rating of I love it because I think this is a great piece. I really like it a lot, man. So I want to know what you guys think. Please let me know in the comment section below. Again, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you feel that you're in a position to support what I do here on YouTube and you want to keep this YouTube channel strong and healthy. Uh, you can check out the Patreon account. I have tons of perks and giveaways over there, so I do give back to you guys. And um, yeah, if you want to see the latest in action figure news, you can find it at toynewseye.com. And I'll see you guys in New York Toy Fair 2020, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace!